Good morning, South Africa! This is the Daily News Wrap from the SouthAfrican.com. It's Thursday, 13th May 2021. My name is Lisa Grayson. This podcast is kindly sponsored by Bluegrass Digital. Bluegrass Digital, a leader in building digital solutions for your business in Africa. Find out more at bluegrassdigital.com. In our top story, it's the news no one wanted but have feared for reality for some time. Health Minister Zulim Kize has said in no uncertain terms that South Africa is indeed staring down the barrel for a third wave of COVID-19 infections. Kize announced this unfortunate news in a widely spread communications circulated with colleagues in government on Wednesday. He also said that it is time for various agencies of the state to galvanize to once again prepare measures to curb the spread of the deadly virus. Meanwhile, the Communications and Digital Technology Committee in South Africa's parliament have confirmed that representatives from social media giant will meet with them later this month. This follows after an invitation was sent to the company in February 2021 by the Democratic Alliance, DA, who are seeking insight into how the industry plans to tackle the spread of misinformation and fake news in South Africa. The DA's member of the Portfolio Committee on Communications and Digital Technologies said in a statement that that in addition to the meeting that will take place on 25th May, other invites have been extended to fellow industry giants Twitter and Google. In other news, AKA has dropped out of a major upcoming festival this month and all other planned appearances will now be cancelled. AKA is in the mire after his partner Nelly was found dead in April. Sympathies have since turned to anger after video footage emerged of the rapper trying to break down a door to get access to his then fiance. Forbes has been accused of perpetrating gender-based violence and his public stock has since been in a freefall. In your sports today, Forbes magazine has released a 10 highest paid athletes over the last year, taking into account all prize monies, salaries, endorsements, and bonuses earned between May 1, 2020 and May 1, 2021. According to the financial experts, the 10 highest paid athletes in the world took home Petrax's gross earnings of $1.05 billion during the past 12 months and 28% more than last year's top earnings. With Kevin Durant at number 10 and Conor McGregor at number 1, all you really need to know is in the SouthAfrican.com. Meanwhile, Kaiser Chiefs dropped two crucial points that could have had a huge impact in where they finish on the PSL log at the end of the season. Amakosi could only manage a 1-1 draw at home against Swallows FC on Wednesday night. Swallows were the first to open the scoring through Kagiso Malinga, who beat Bruce Buma with a sublime finish in the 8th minute. Chiefs were back on level terms 7 minutes later when Leonardo Castro headed into an empty net from a Javi Mashana rebound which came off the upright. In your weather today, Bloemfontein is a sunny 24 degrees, Cape Town comes at 17 degrees, Pretoria is a fine 26 in Johannesburg, you can expect 23 today. That's all the news you really need to know from the South African today. Subscribe for more of this and other stories straight to your mobile device. And while you're at it, please visit the SouthAfrican.com. My name is Lisa Grayson. This podcast is kindly sponsored by Bluegrass Digital. Bluegrass Digital, a leader in building digital solutions for your business in Africa. Find out more at BluegrassDigital.com.